NBA DFS show with John Impemba and James Grande. What is going on, FA Nation? John Impemba here with James Grande. Welcome into the Fantasy Alarm NBA DFS Playbook Preview Show. We have five games here on a Tuesday, kicking off at 7 p.m., ending with a 10 p.m. Lakers Suns matchup here for everybody. Uh, recording as we watch the uh, end of this uh, Monday slate. Uh, some impressive performances, some that uh, you called there, James. Uh, LaMelo Ball going out there, just having himself a day. Doesn't matter. If there's no bridges. He's going to take 30 shots. He took 30 shots, lit up the Orlando Magic. Uh, the value in the Dallas came through. Kyrie Irving also came through with a monster uh, second half there. Scotty uh, Barnes. Uh, Scotty Barnes. Barnes, really, really good day. Elf Payton, 21 assists. You know round of applause. <laughs> we, we should give Elf the round of applause, right? Like, yeah. his his season's over now that DeJounte's back on Wednesday. But is like, it? Is it? Is it? To you, Elf. You, you let a guy go who had a 21 assist, double-double. He had double-double? No, did he just get the 21? Yeah, he got the double-double. He had he the double-double. Double, double. Yeah, Trade so, him while his stock is high, John. Trade him while his stock true. is high. Um, so some uh, Jay Nivey game winner tonight. You know, you like okay. Jay Nivey in uh, without Cade, he had a good game here. So, um, looking, I don't think we have anybody on a back to back. Everybody's playing on Wednesday because nobody's playing on Thursday. So, uh, for the most part, so we got that here. Uh, Chicago, Washington, Milwaukee, Miami, Houston, Minnesota, San Antonio, Utah, and LA Phoenix are the five games here on this main slate. We appreciate all of you who are tuning in. You want to hit that like, that subscribe, that share button. Free way to support the work we do here over at the Fantasy Alarm YouTube channel. And, of course, as we promoted yesterday, our Black Friday deal is here. Black Friday week is live over at Fantasy Alarm. Save $100 off the annual subscription package there. That comes out to less than $16 a month for the year and gets you access to everything we have over on Fantasy Alarm, including access to our premium Discord, uh, lineup generator, projections, uh, playbooks, draft guides, you name it. If it's behind the paywall or on Fantasy Alarm, you get it with our Black Friday deal. And again, uh, this is $100 off the annual subscription. That's less than $16 a month. Our month-to-month cost is like almost $40. Um, even when we run 50% off deals, that's still about 20 bucks a month. We're giving it to you less than 16 So now is the time. You've been wanting to try out Fantasy Alarm. It still comes with a seven-day free trial uh, at fantasyalarm.com slash Black Friday. Promo code BF24 to take advantage of this offer. Um, James, how are, we, uh, how are we doing? How are we feeling about things? So you'll be on the playbook for this two five-game slate on Tuesday. Yeah, fun five-gamer. Um, Emirates Cup, obviously, yep. uh, we're getting down. I, I'm actually, I want to pull up the, because we're, we're getting to the, um, the point in the cup that we need to, like, really pay attention to, right? Sure. Like, yep. with the way that teams are, seating or seated right now and the way that um records are um shaping out so yeah i mean it's a it's a fun slate 242 implied points in chicago washington two of the faster paced teams in the league and two of the worst defenses in the league uh lakers suns very healthy game uh with the return of kevin durant and bradley beal yep. both on the same day um 232 implied total in that one Every game over 220, every spread, John, within four and a half points. So obviously four of the five games will blow out. That's a guarantee, uh, especially with how many close spreads we have. Um, but yeah, it should be a fun overall sleep. Yeah, I'm in. Uh, top overall price, guys, here. Giannis, 12K, Wemby, 10.8, AD, 10.5, and LeBron, $10,000. Uh, over at the point guard position, we got Anthony Edwards, point guard, shooting guard here. Mike Conley, questionable to play, uh, missing the last couple of games. He's $9,500. Devin Booker, point guard, shooting guard, eligible, 9000 Dame, 89 Got uh, Hero at point guard, shooting guard, eligibility at eight k. Uh, Van Vliet and White round out sort of the seven k and above. Again, smaller slates mean smaller player pools. Generally also means more consolidated ownership. And occasionally it means not a lot of value to be had. So. Um, how would you go about the point guard position here? Yeah, I mean, we saw Ant, um, no Conley last game. I know they started DiVincenzo, but Ant had seven assists, played 40 minutes nearly. Um, he looked great. That was the first time we've seen Ant Edwards with any sort of upside. Um, don't, 
a little indifferent about 9,500, but I think if there's no Conley, we'll see Ant on the ball a lot in this game, just kind of like how we did last game. Um, 9,000 for Devin Booker with Durant and Bradley Beal returning. I'm a little indifferent about. I think Dame looks pretty good here. Still sub 9K. Hasn't necessarily shot the ball particularly well since returning. Um, but 18, 17, 19, 21 shots in the four games since being back. Got to the foul line 11 times last game. Um, the, the fantasy production, 45 and 52 fantasy points the last two games. And we know he's a high usage player. So um, love the minutes. Look out for the Bucks. by the way. They've obviously looked really good since yep. Lillard's return. Four straight wins. Um, only a game or two under 500 um, out of the clouds. And, you know, that happens when your best two players are are doing things and and they're Brooke Lopez is also Lopez really is stepping up. Yeah, he's been great. I mean, even like Trent, AJ Green, like they needed floor spacers, and both those guys are making a boatload of shots. So the um, the Bucks look much better, and and Lillard is um at the forefront of that as well. Yeah, I saw, I saw a tweet. I think it was uh NBA Central today, the actual one, not the fake one. Cent- not Central. Not the Central. The Central. Um, that they are also interested in maybe acquiring Cam Thomas, Dorian Finney-Smith, mm. uh, if they become available at the deadline. So, you know, I don't know if that speaks to Chris Middleton's status, um, who we don't know. He still hasn't even been, like, cleared to do anything yet. So, yeah. um, you know, they could be adding some some pieces there, and that would certainly make them a bit more interesting. Get that would, love the Finney Smith, would love the Finney-Smith part of that. I don't know how the Cam Thomas piece fits there, but I would love but, the – the Finney Smith piece. DFS just upgrades the Torian Prince, right? Like right, same for player, sure. better player. Yeah, and better, then, yeah, same player, better player. Um, and then Cam would just be what Middleton's not there, right? So like <laughs> Yeah, I just I just think like you would like Middleton is just a better playmaker where Cam is just like sure I'm better. going to impose my will on the basket. That's, <laughs> right. that's all. Yeah. Um, so you got that group then again. Uh you can always play hero, even though the price is starting to get up there. We saw buckets have a Big game in his return. Um, Hero still was fine. Ten boards there in that game. Uh, 18 and five. But we know, and you've said it from the beginning, like you felt like this is going to be a different year for Jimmy Butler. And for the most part, when he's been healthy and on the floor, he has put up some some pretty decent uh, production there. Uh, Van Vliet, f- what was he 50K light in the pocket uh, after what he did? Yeah. To the uh, yep, he sure walked, is. Walked up to each one of them and called them a B, you know, and um, – Got himself ejected in that game. Um, has had a couple of bad games here. After we wrote him out for a little bit there, he was, the production is certainly tilted down. I don't know what happened in the Portland game, the first one where he took two, two shots um, and then didn't get much better in that second Portland game there. So uh, he must be happy to get out of uh, away from them because they were he was home. He's now in Minnesota, 7,100. Uh, Kobe White, another guy that we played. I, I got to assume Chicago Washington is going to be the most popular game on the slate. Um, pace, yeah. defense, non existent yeah. for either side here. Um, so if you get to Kobe White at 7K, Giddy 64, uh, CP3 against Utah at 6,300 is probably pretty good. Um, what are we doing with the mid tier? Yeah. So um, everything you said about Hero was correct. Dude, he took in that game. 25 shots, right? I mean, one of 10 from three. He's now gotten three of 20 from three in the last two games. So um, Tyler Hero just makes some shots. You know, keep in mind, Terry Rozier listed probable. Terry Rozier was also listed probable the other day. Mm-hmm. Terry Rozier didn't play. So just, you know, take the, the probable tag with a little bit of a grain of salt. Um, so if there's no Terry Rozier, I would definitely have some Tyler Hero appeal. Um, Van Vliet is fine at 7,100. You know, um, he had looked really good until the last two games where he just didn't do anything right. offensively. And and that second game was just super frustrating. Like you said, I mean, he got thrown out and cursed everyone out. Um, I think the Bulls guards are are really interesting. Only 30 minutes from Kobe White in that game. Second leg of a back-to-back. Didn't really play well. And Billy Donovan pulled the plug pretty early in the fourth quarter. So I'd be good with Kobe White. I'm good with Jordan Poole if he plays. We don't know if Jordan Poole will right. play, but I'm good going there. Um, you know, I, I my opinion just hasn't necessarily changed on the Austin Reeves front. I still think it's too expensive with, you know. Yeah. The price is coming down at least a little bit. 
price is coming down. Um, so if you end up there, it's fine. But like, I would rather play this next tier. Um, dude, I was, I'm very frustrated at the minutes for Josh Giddy in this game because I played him at 10%. Yeah. And he was, I mean, he nuked the slate. If he plays five to six more minutes, he triple doubles, right? Yeah. Um, and I thought that would be the case. They they went to the small ball lineup again with, you know, IO in and um, with Patrick Williams out. Well, Patrick Williams is still out. So yep. I assume they're going to go back to the small ball lineup. They did say they want to get Matt Spazoulis more run. It obviously came a little bit at the expense of Giddy. But if we get the 30 plus minutes, he could go for 50 right. and it wouldn't be surprising. So in this spot, I'm I'm willing to take a shot on against a team in Washington then that does play smaller um, yep. because, you know, they don't start Valanciunas. They don't play Valanciunas with Sar very often. So um, I like Giddy, like Chris Paul. They already ruled Devin Vassell out. So right. you can you can play Chris Paul on the front end of the back-to-back. Um, and then I think this next tier is also really, really, really interesting as well. Uh, where are you looking to go? We have obviously price, uh, price down. Uh, Brogdon, Conte, George, Io, D- DDV is down here. Bob Carrington's down here at 5K. Sexton, $5,800. Where are you thinking uh, of starting here? Yeah, I mean, obviously, Tyus is harder to get to with a healthy team. Um, right. But Brogdon, Brogdon, I think, is very interesting. Um, 25 and 26 minutes in the starting lineup the last few games. One game, we get 10 rebounds. The next game, we get five assists. And that's kind of what he does, right? He is good in very in a lot of different um, facets of the game. And I don't know if we're going to get him extended really past 25, 26 minutes. Cause when you like look at the way that that game played out, he sat, I mean, no, never like long shifts really. Um, he did close again. So, you know, that take that for what it's worth. But I think at 25, 26 minutes in this spot, we saw 35 fantasy point upside, especially if there's no Jordan Poole. I'd be really good with Brogdon. Keontae George has started to look pretty good um, as like a kind of guy that we figured he would be. The minutes are a little less consistent as they were, but the fantasy production is is coming around. And they already ruled out Jordan Clarkson. Right. They already ruled out Filipowski. Um, So, you know, Keontae's minutes should be pretty securely 30 plus. Yeah, the drop in price is a little interesting because obviously he was up over 6K there for a little bit and then both guards were out. Um, now you get him down to $5,500 here. Like that feels yep. feels pretty cheap for what he uh, his upside certainly uh, can be. You mentioned obviously they've been starting IO. We know what he can be. He gave you the 39 against Atlanta, a little bit of a more of a floor game there against Memphis uh, in 29 minutes, but certainly can be a guy. He gives you some of the defensive stats. Uh, DDV is in starting. He's supposedly on the trade block too. I don't know if you saw those reports out there. Yeah. He is just not happy to be where he is. Um, I don't know who would trade for him that would enter, put him in the starting lineup right away, but that's what he wants to be. He wants to be a starter somewhere. So uh, we'll see uh, what happens there. He can't just be happy playing on a team that's likely, you know, final four bound in the conference, but yeah, some guys, uh, some guys care about that. Can I raise my hand, John. Yeah, go for it. Uh, you know where he's a starter, and where he's take he'll take more shots. Wait, this is this was For a playoff team. Oh wait, this is are you talking? This is DDV. Yeah, that's that was. Oh, I thought that was a Cam Thomas report you were just talking about because Cam Thomas is on the trade block. No, Dante Divincenzo apparently has has does not want to be where he is. He's unhappy with his role as a bench player. I just watched him do a podcast where he said he was so happy and he loves playing with Ann Edwards. Nope. Over over the weekend, probably he would like to be moved to a team that would start him. Interesting. Um, Man, Minnesota was in a really good spot just one year ago, and things have really changed since trading uh, Carl Anthony Towns. Interesting. Um, I mean, if there's no no Conley, I'm definitely interested in in DiVincenzo, right? I know it's not like the easiest spot, but there's in there's appeal i mean 30 plus minutes high three-point volume type player so um i would definitely have interest in even chenzo if conley sat would i would probably play conley by the way if conley played i don't know if, 
I don't think we'll ever see the 30 in 20, 37 minutes again from Mike Conley, but right. if he plays, I, I, I'd have interest. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, where are we at the value for you at point guard here? Anything sticking out? Uh, um, there was uh, they they played Rob Dillingham against yes. Celtics. Looked pretty good. Obviously, didn't play a ton, but looked pretty good. Yeah, I mean, he's you know really high draft pick, uh, first round draft pick, super talented kid. Um, a little a little indifferent. Um, it's very hard to predict. Alec Burks played 30 minutes last game, John. Of course. I did. mean, the game before, I think DMP and Richardson played the minutes. So it's impossible to figure it out. But if Terry Rozier, for whatever reason, were to go from probable to out again, I guess you could consider Alec Burks. But sure. it's also a risky proposition just given what Miami's doing with their rotation right now. Alec Burks forever a bucket whenever he gets the opportunity to be uh, forever forever a bucket and now he's like the twelfth guy he's like the seventh guy or the twelfth guy in Miami every night <laughs> you never uh, know which shooting guard has a lot of the same players we've talked about but we have Levine at seventy eight who we haven't um, this would feel like a ceiling spot for Levine um, you know, of everybody he's been the most consistent him and Vucevic here um, I mean they, they're they're just scoring a lot of points he's scoring a lot of points. Yep. Would yeah, like I mean, to see a, would like to see a few more peripheral stats there, but like not bad. That, that game was super weird because he did literally nothing going into half. And then yeah. he just nuked the third quarter scoring and just that's all he did. He just yeah. um, I bet the over 22 and a half points and was happy to see him just make everything possible on that game. So and, and but like it is that he is just a very, very good scorer when he's going. I mean you know, the string of games says it all. I mean, he's making all of his shots. He's making all of his threes. So, yep. Um, you have to go all the way down. I mean, we're not going to play Beal in his return game. Um, basically, I go down to like Jalen Green, 64 was questionable, I guess. So, we'll see with the illness if he suits up or not. Illness uh, again, huh? With Jalen Green. Yeah. Everybody we've already talked about Castle, 5,200, maybe your next play who's even Wemby. Like Castle is just playing, right? Like it, Wemby or not, it's he's on the floor. I didn't talk Sexton. Um, I, I just left him for shooting guard, but okay. um, Sexton played 38 minutes last game, so I would also include Colin Sexton with no Clarkson. Um, but yeah, Castle Castle's going to play 30 plus minutes, really good peripherally, has been an improved scorer as well. So there's like a lot of appeal. The 5200 against Utah is not scary either because Utah's super. Yeah, bad. the Sexton call is right. I thought I thought you mentioned him at point guard. 38 no, I minutes. Him. Yeah, 38 minutes for him. Is everything we've ever wanted for content, right? <laughs> dude? I, and and you know, we also understand those thirty-eight minutes could evaporate mighty fast with Will Hardy, at, you know, under center here. Um, but it is, you know, no Clarkson makes you believe that like they have to give, they have to extend them a little bit. Yep, I agree. Um, all right, so but uh, obviously, Casson, you were. Right, in that they did not start Dalton Connect. Uh, he did play 28 minutes in a game. It was also a blowout. Um, what do you think the Lakers continue to do here with our guy? I don't know. They're they're in a little bit of a... They lost a couple games in a row. Um, I assume they're just going to keep doing what they're doing with their starting lineup. But again, I could be wrong. Um, I think they want Cam Reddish starting. We could just see Rui be Rui and just eventually make his way to the bench because I thought that was what Jared Vanderbilt was going to do to him, and I've said that to you before as well. Like uh, Jared Vanderbilt, I think, is the better player than Rui to begin with. But, um, yeah, I mean, I still think Cam Reddish starts. That would, that would be my guess. Cam Reddish starts. Don't connect, plays more minutes. That That's exactly how I would probably uh, obviously, Eamon Thompson, 35 minutes in that game with uh, Van Lee getting ejected. But if there's no Jalen Green now, like he's going to obviously have uh, more potential opportunities. Uh, we played him here. Super sad. Four fouls. <laughs> like, yeah. couldn't, couldn't. And then 39 and 30, just smashing. Just play, I mean, just play him and Tari Easton every night. Just like you're more often than not, you're going to get five, six, seven X upside here. Um, Champagne, $4,900 continues to be fine. Uh, Keldon's supposed to play in this one. 
Um, you know, so like not really, not that it's a huge impact on him, but the minutes are pretty good for uh, Champagne. Uh, Duncan Robinson probably out now that Butler's back. And, and probably well, and Rosier, and Rosier, because Duncan started for Rosier. True. Um, it's got to be it down here, right? Did they uh, play Gisbert, Gisbert. Gisbert played 36 minutes the other day. He, he wasn't great, but if there's no Jordan Poole, um, sure. they started Keyshawn George, and then they played Kispert 36 minutes because they just that's just what they do, right? They just yeah. love playing Kispert. Um, also, salute to Pele Larson. Uh, if if Rosier's rolled out again, Pele Larson played 36 minutes. Crazy. Uh, yeah, it's a good call. 3700. Uh, very little value right on the slate for Thunder 4K. So it could be could be a guy. Uh, small forward buckets. Seventy-eight hundred dollars. He said he came back in the lineup. Fifty-four and fifty-seven fantasy points the last two times he's taken the floor. Uh, ridiculous amount of free throw attempts. Fill in the stat sheet. Now he's got a matchup against Milwaukee. Here feels like he's just gonna go, go ham. Dude, he's just been good. Like he's just been. And if you remember, he, they knocked Milwaukee out twice. He loves playing Milwaukee, and I'm not a big narrative guy, but like. You just think about all those postseasons. They were the eight seed, knocked them out. They beat them in the conference. I think the com- the year after they won the championship too. Like, um, so yeah, I think this is a great spot for Butler, uh, for sure. Uh, Lori seventy four, and then it jumps down big time. We got Eason, Kulabali, McDaniel's in that next group. Uh, obviously, Lori thirty three minutes, eleven and fifteen. So back. He's so back. Thirty four actual. He's so back. So we're getting we're getting some of that upside out of Lori Marketing now. Can he do it against San Antonio? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. no Clarkson, no Filipowski, all the shot attempts, all the all the threes are falling. They need him to crash the glass. It's I love love the spot for Lori. Uh Tari Easton only played 19 minutes in that game, 0 for 7, 0 for 1. So he had a little floor game, but obviously 39 the day before. So Always live is Tyree Eason here to uh, to go off. Koulibaly, big minutes for him. Guys, you know, looking good in year two. Yeah, um, Eason always live in tournaments. Koulibaly, dude, the minutes are just ridiculous. 38 and 40 minutes. Um, Kyle Kuzma was a literal walking corpse in this game. Um, he had like 11 fantasy points. And there was no Jordan Poole. If like Kuzma can't get anything going and there's no pool, Koulibaly is going to obviously take on a bigger role offensively. And we've seen all the big games that he's had this year has involved like a lot of them have involved multiple free throws. Um, eight free throw attempts was great to see. So yeah, 5,700 for Koulibaly in this spot. He'll guard Zach Levine. That That's for sure. Um, so yeah, he'll, he's going to have to work hard for 40 minutes, but He's playing 40 minutes in a game with 240 implied points. That That's very appealing. Yep. Agree. We're going to watch Washington, uh, obviously, in this one. Yes. Uh, sure. So, McDaniels, you know, again, tough game against Boston. Looked really good against Toronto. He's had a nice little stretch here. Um, actually scoring the basketball a little bit, knocking down a couple of threes, and then he's giving you the stocks. Four, 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 and three of the last five. So, um, those, are, those are obviously huge at his price at 52. Uh, Jaime is down now that uh, everybody's sort of back for his position. Hachimura played 23 in his return. Anything? Harry B, player of the week. Uh, when he came back, did not matter. Seven of eight, 40 fantasy points. What are, What is happening? I don't know. I don't know. Like, He'll go cold. He'll go cold. We know he will, but he's 10xing the last three slates. <laughs> I mean, like, we are being dared to play him right yeah they've raised his price three hundred dollars he's got in a, in a span where he's gotten 36 42 and 40 fantasy points yeah three hundred dollar bump i mean we are we are we are being asked they are begging us be like this will not work out keep playing harrison barnes please <laughs> right i mean, I mean they are they it, are t- he hit seven of eight so like he missed one field goal attempt. I know, and and then got to the line like a whole bunch. Dude, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going there. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I it, and I if get you it. You make if you're making multiple lives, you have to have a share at this point. If he is like, if I'm, if he's twenty percent right, I'm gonna probably be 
I would be like under the field. At sure. If he's, I was saying you and I, you know, throw three lineups in a, in a contest. Like you'll sure. have to have one of three. One, one of three. Well, like, well, like here, I'll, I'll throw out like pivots, right? If Harrison Barnes ends up being, we wake up, I'm like, John, just let's get this out of the way. Run the, run the, run the, owner, yeah. right? He's popular. And like, we get Jordan Poole news and George is starting. I would play Keyshawn George. Um, there's a chance I'd play Dylan Brooks over Harrison Barnes. Dylan yeah, Brooks could be up. It could be more minutes. Then. Yeah, if Jalen Green. Um, Matas Bazoulis, career high 30 minutes. And I know he's 4K, he's not 3K anymore. Um, but I said I said you I told you the thing about Bazoulis where Billy Donovan basically said, like, we're just gonna he's going to play. We are yeah. going to play him moving forward. This is gonna be his development. 29 minutes in the second game, that's pretty good development. So um all those are are viable pivots off off Harry B because I'm just not I'm just okay. Uh, I, I get it, John. I do. I, I hear the okay. I hear like the sad dad voice in your no. I listen, hear the sad dad tone in your voice. No, but. Well, listen, my my sad dad voice is because we, as I told you, if I played him on this day, I would be a seventy k richer. Yeah, that's you know, fair. Right? Well, that's yeah, that's a, that's a that's a. If I played him over Anthony Black, I I would not be on the show at the moment. I'd be on an island, but I didn't. <laughs> the rest of the lineup was mint. I just. Harry Barnes, Andy yeah. Black, same price, forty four hundred dollars. Played the wrong guy, you know. Would have yeah. been, would have been, would have been nice. Would have been nice. Um, all right. So you list listed off a bunch of guys you'd play. Uh, Naw would has not looked good, but he's been getting the minutes. Does that do you, do you care? If Conley's out, he's in play. Okay. But if Conley's in, you know those the 26 27 minutes will are not consistent. Said he's like, just been so bad even with the playing time. So. Yeah, he has and and it's not like a 30 something price, right? It's we need over 20 fantasy points. Agreed. All right, power forward, get Giannis here 12k, get LeBron at 10k. KD returning at 83. I don't know what we have for minutes for KD, but that's a pretty good price for Kevin Durant. Uh Randall's 81. So those are the four guys we haven't discussed yet. LeBron power forward center. Uh, eligible, which he was the other day, but just again calling out that they gave him center eligibility uh, as well, since they don't have a backup center. Though Hayes is back, so is they back. do they will have a, sa- a center for him. Um, I mean, if you can fit, if, if you fit Giannis, you can. That, that's the play, right, on this one. Yeah, I mean, if you fit Giannis, he's he's the play. I mean, he's been the best player in the league, um, leads the league in scoring, not best player in the league, just like um, Jokic, obviously, yeah. but. He's been the best scorer in the league. Peripheral stats are amazing. He's been, I mean, virtually unstoppable. So um, if you get to Giannis, it's great. The On the LeBron front, absolutely can play LeBron if you want. Durant is like the one person I've never seen limited in my whole life. Like he is, whatever surgery he had to his Achilles, everyone else needs to have. No, <laughs> like they need to go to this guy to figure out what happened. Because, like, you can go through – you ever see, like, the list of players that have had an Achilles tear in the NBA that have, like, had successful returns? There's, like, four that have ever made an All-Star game again. Yeah. Like, four players, dude, in the history of the league. So, like, um, I, I don't know if Durant's – truthfully, like, I don't know if he's going to be limited. Okay. I don't, I don't know. I, I mean, I, it's – there's obviously a chance he's been out. My worry is that it's a calf strain, and we know right. calves and Achilles, Achilles. are, yeah. sure. you know, are all kind of connected there. Um, let's see. This, it doesn't say anything about a limit, though. So I guess we'll see. We'll, we'll, I guess we'll have to find. It's 10 p.m. We will. We obviously we won't know before lock. We will not know. No. We will not know. Um, again, you got Randall at 81. Uh, Randall's had some good games here of late. Pretty just consistent production. Um, Smaller slates, you get the upside. You have John Collins, um, our guy, another 40 plus fantasy points, another double double. <laughs> just you know, just move chug it along here against San, against San Antonio. Nobody likes John Collins more than us. Nobody. I'll fight I'll fight the field if they think they like John Collins more than us. Yeah. That's that's there's there's very few. Um Coos was a thousand bucks cheaper, as you mentioned. He did really <laughs> little in that game. Uh, but he went 10 of 19 versus Boston. You get a 10 of 19, add in now uh, Chicago and not Boston defense, and you're, you know, you might be looking a little better there. It, th- is that just like, am I looking at a line of Kyle Kuzma just not caring about basketball? 
Um, maybe. I mean, <laughs> the, shot, the shot attempts for the large part, part are pretty good. Um, just the Indiana game, though. I, like, no Jordan Poole. Yeah, I mean, game. get three fouls. Maybe he was just, like, a little frustrated. I don't know. It's bizarre to me. Uh, I got nothing. And, but, and I mean, truthfully, I, I agree. But would you rather play a 6,300 Kuzma or a 5,000 Alex Sar? Um, I mean, I know Sar has definitely looked better of late. Most I think he's had the higher seal. I think he's flashed the, the better seal. Yeah, the stocks help, right? Seven stocks in that game. He's going to have to, I mean, I know we over we over talk defensive matchups, but like he's going to be up on Vuk in this game. Like, I don't know if that's going to cause him issues or not. Does they have Chicago matchup yet? They haven't. He's been pretty good though. I mean, guy was guy was number two pick, right? So yeah. Um, yeah, Sar's fine. I don't hate it. There's also not much else that you'd play down here, I guess. I mean, we've talked a lot of Jabari, the minutes, the last game, 37, 32 fantasy points. He's still very cheap, but like you've gotten f- very low floors, you've gotten some pretty good production in between there. So if no Jalen Green, maybe Jabari is a bit more interesting, but guarantee he's a top five um, ownership guy. player in our first run. Guarantee. Okay. Uh, you mentioned Keyshawn George, uh, super aggro play again. Yep. Yep. Um, but uh, if he's going to get the minutes, certainly interesting for his uh, upside. You mentioned Missoula's yep. there. Uh, Tory Craig got iced out after his one game, eight minutes. Yep. Uh, anything else? Wemby is 10-8. Got him against Utah here. Feels like a pretty good spot good to price. get Victor Wemby um, in your lineup. Yep, I would agree. Good good price. Got 70s, 60s, 55. Probably another 60-plus fantasy point game incoming. Uh, AD against Phoenix at 10-5. Also, good price for Anthony Davis here. Um, I don't... Let's see. He fixed Phoenix already this year. He did. Yeah, he cooked him for 29-15. So... Um, I no problems getting to either top two guys if you want. You go down to the next year, you get Shingoon versus Minnesota. I don't know how you feel about his matchup against Gobert. Um, you know, he's obviously had his better moments. Still can't believe he disappointed. Like how Houston just none of them played well against Portland to me. It's just kind of weird, but that's what the happened. First the first game they just blitzed them. Yeah. And then the second game they were terrible. You're, yeah, it was terrible. Yeah. Um Bam's in a little bit of a tougher spot as well. 38 minutes against Dallas. Had the double double there. Uh, then we go to we go to Vuk. I didn't even realize Durant had center eligibility, but you got Vuk here. I really like Vuk in this matchup. Same. Dude, he's, been, he's just so he's been so consistent. Yeah. So consistently good. Yep. I, I'm a big Vuk fan in this spot. Uh, we talked Collins already. If, go Bear if you want to go the other side. Uh, I played like the three percent Brolo the other day. He's been really good. You can probably continue just to play Brooke Lopez at this point. Um, if he's going to keep kind of doing filling up in the stat sheet and rebounding the way he's rebounding, like I'm, I'm good with getting to Brooke Lopez at six K. Same. Uh, Walker Kessler back. He played thirty. Just looking at that return and Wemby's return, like both guys just missing like all this time, and then like, hey guys, I'm. Good to go. 35 minutes and not be limited at all. Yep. Kind of makes you interested in Kessler, right? No Filipowski. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like they they gave Collins the minutes we wanted to see. They gave Lori the minutes we liked, and they gave Walker Kessler the minutes. So um feels pretty good. Feels pretty good Agreed. for Kessler there. Agreed. Uh we talked SARS probably at then at center. I mean, I always throw Jalen Smith, I guess, a bone. Yeah. Um, K Love was K Love was really really good the other day. It was closing too. Um, very unreal. Like they it doesn't play uh, twenty minutes, but well, you know what? They lost. I guess Highsmith is off the injured part. Okay, he left that game. That's why Kevin Love. Um, but Highsmith is fine, so I guess he can't really get to Kevin Love. Okay. Uh, but, all right, let's uh get the lineup going then here. Um. What's our what's our top play? Mm. So what's our top play and what we can afford, right? Um, I mean, like we li- we liked the if we did Wemby at center, there was we definitely want Chicago Washington pieces, like mm-hmm. like as many as 
the Washington stuff is obviously a little tricky because Jordan, we don't know. Poole, because Jordan Poole. The Jordan yeah. Poole I mean, Brogdon was playing, playing no matter what, right? So like, yep, I like Brogdon. Castle, uh, small forward. Uh, I mean, Levine. Levine, yeah, Levine's good. 5,100 for a power forward. Sar. Uh, guard play here. Uh, 5,200 for a guard. 5,200. Uh, can we get to Keontae? Yeah, George, 55. Or Sexton, 58. Which, or, which would you prefer? I mean, if if you're telling me one guy could play 38 minutes, I'd probably go with that guy. Okay. I don't know if Keontae isn't capable of that. but sure. Uh, go modest because you keep you you played the minutes. Yeah, modest is yeah. and fifty eight hundred dollars can get us Eason, yeah. <laughs> Kessler, right to, Bali. Right back to George. Um, I, yeah, I, mean, I mean, we want we want we want exposure to this game, right? So just go Kula Bali here. Yeah, that's fine. yeah. Okay, Rodman, Castle, Levine, Sar, Wemby, Sexton, Bazoulas, and Kula Bali. Uh, as you can see. Uh, we are only playing San Antonio, Washington, Utah. <laughs> so uh, game stacking on a five-game slate makes sense. So on these high game total games, we got one be here. So um, grind is on your playbook. We'll have uh, another show here at 5 p.m. going live. Break you all down, have some injury news, some ownership, some projections for all of you. Uh, remember, Black Friday week is here at Fantasy Alarm. Go to fantasyalarm.com slash Black Friday. Take $100 off our annual subscription package. That comes out to less than $16 a month. It's the best deal we've ever had. And I've worked here at Fantasy Slam for a very long time. Uh, promo code BF24. When you enter there, I think if you just go to fantasyslam.com slash Black Friday, the promo code is already entered in. You just have to hit uh, enter and then enter your payment information. Join us for a year. Access to all DFS content, not just NBA. All draft guides, MLB, NFL draft guide. Uh, it takes you all the way through this time next year, which means this time next year, guess what? We'll have another Black Friday sale going on. You can take advantage of that as well. You're pretty much just cycle through discounted all pro packages here. So sign up today. Take advantage of this offer. It's Black Friday week here at Fantasy Alarm. Again, thank you all for tuning in. Hit that like, that subscribe, that share. James and I will be back at 5 p.m. We'll talk to you then.